So, uh, this is a new intro to this video because the rest of it completely messed up. So, I watched all the info about uh, Steven Universe and all that. I'm going to go ahead and leave that part out now since I've been having video issues this entire time while I've been trying to start this. But yeah, um, I'm basically just going to react to the fight now. This is the death battle between... Uh, uh, Steven Universe and uh, Butterfly Star uh, by Death Battle. It's uh, not Screw Attack anymore. It's Rooster Teeth. So, yeah, uh, definitely go ahead and check out uh, Death Battle on Rooster Teeth uh, on their channel. Uh, they've been pretty biased before, but I've never held that against them because, you know, it's their channel, their content. So, you know. Uh, but, yeah, let's check out the battle. So, Steven's pretty OP, but so is Butterfly. Like, they're both a little ridiculous for cartoon characters. Goodness. Oh no! What happened? Wait! Sorry! Wait, I can fix it. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I have a better idea. Just put her further away. Wow. Oh, Grumpy no. Munch. I'll cheer you up. Huh? Um, stop, please. Okay. About either of these people Ow. dying because they're little kids huh? essentially it's kind of messed up oh wow we already went mega form for butterfly what's wrong with you just leave me It's usually these cutesy girl characters, man. I wasn't oh expecting gosh. I the won. Rainbow Dash episode the way it went down either, but I mean, there you go. KO! I don't think she won what she S thought she won there. Steven definitely yes. had a better sandcastle. With Steven's strength and healing abilities, Star was definitely between a gem and a hard place Funny. initially. And when Steven went pink, he made it a whole lot tougher on her. And since Steven was an alien gem and not technically magic, Star's whispering spell couldn't touch him. But she still had the advantage in the end. Obviously. Steven was physically superior, at least to Star's everyday appearance. Star can survive explosions worth a few dozen tons of TNT, but he can match Garnet's mountain-busting might. 
However, everyone knows this matchup would rarely ever resolve in fisticuffs. Even with how out there some of Steven's powers were, the sheer versatility of Star's magic was simply not something he was equipped to outmaneuver or overpower. It's ridiculous. Sure, his laser feats mean he was faster than Star in her lightning feats, but Star's butterfly form and transportation magic meant she had plenty of ways to work around that. Not to mention, she mastered her super-powered bug form while Steven never mastered Pink State. And she didn't even need her wand to go full power, so disarming her meant Jack Squad. It is possible Steven could match the power of the Diamond Trio, since Pink Diamond was able to defend against them alone. 843 million tenajoules, or about two tenatons of TNT, is certainly nothing to scoff at. But Star had spells that could destroy a whole planet, and probably even a universe. Pun intended. She could basically one-up any level of power Steven tried to throw at her, even if he did go full pink monster mode. Steven was pushed to the limit and gave it his best, but Star's raw power and her versatile spellcasting were impossible to beat. But her fly on home, Star, you've had a gem you yeah. would win. The winner is Star Butterfly. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that that is what it was. I mean, I, I don't know either character, and I'm not on either bandwagon. I've seen more Steven Universe than I've seen of, obviously, Star Butterfly. I think it's like the little girls. But yeah, um, I mean, that was interesting to watch, I guess. I mean, I I kind of thought Steven Universe's stuff sounded a little more crazy than Butterflies, but I guess if you have something that can just utterly annihilate a universe, that sort of takes precedence. Anyway, that was just one reaction that I'm doing tonight. Probably uh, going to be doing a little bit more here later. We'll see. Uh, I'll check out you guys later. See ya.